Hello guys, um, I'm going to go through the steps involved in storing Happy Ledger Fabric Composer in your local machine and then creating a business network and we are also going to communicate with the business network using the REST API server. So this tutorial will be in multiple videos, so please stay tuned. For installation of this Hyperledger Fabric Composer, um, we can use this online version of this Composer, which will be automatically updated when you work on the browser. There are few frequent updates going around in the Fabric Composer playground. For setting up a local component, I'm going to go to Install Development Environment section. For Mac users, Docker and Xcode is important. So follow this guide. Executing this script will install this Docker and Xcode. Xcode installation will take around 2.5 GP to 4.5 GP. So it will take some time for you to install. Uh, Docker size will be around. On 50 MB. Once that is that two softwares were installed, uh, we need Node and NPM to be installed in your machines so we can install these Node module packages. To do this, so go to Node.js website. There you can get the stable version. Currently, see. 7.4 plus versions are not supported by Hyperledger Fabric. So, get the latest stable version of, of the software. What are the platform? So, we have LTS latest stable version. I have already installed to check the version of the version of that now node version I'm having 6.11.3 which is the latest version and the npm of 4.4.2 and I'm a higher type now ok once it is installed and verified we need to download this components from the web so I'm going to install the plus CLI this is this tool we will be using to communicate with the business network deploy business network upgrade on a strong helping to that business to install on a pair of the blockchain so, on a blockchain plus I'm going to do this multiple sessions. This tool this tool is needed for another plug. Yo, yo the generators angular application or some console application for the business network which we choose. Uh, this will generate as a test gate and so we'll be uh, having a way for our application right away. Composer Reservoir. So the REST API kind of server will start once we install this Composer Reservoir server. So we need to give the connection profiles and the credentials so we can connect to the business network which we need to install. A business network is uh, a term in blockchain used for uh, if any this participants, assets, transactions, events which are going to going through this network. So a business network, business network contains uh, transactions which we, where we will be uh, including our business logics and operations 
participants pair will be defining and uh, restriction uh, you will be using to restrict the access uh, between multiple model levels model we'll see later uh, and then events will trigger the trigger an event on some uh, business validation success or error or something uh, once process success or error will be emitting some events can so these events can be listened using the script sockets from this server so this this is it. Uh, these two three are dependent on each other so this your server will start this compressor server as well to communicate with the business network I uh -huh, already installed composer now I'm showing a server now and you Yo, yo. Okay, let's it'll take some time. Uh, so, uh, this hyperledger composer will be running in Docker. Where this peer orderer and certificate authority on the server can be deployed as a container into Docker. Once these are set up, we can create generate a business network. But to do to deploy the this deploy the business network we need a server for that we'll be downloading this fabric tools from this url uh, we are creating a directory fabric tools and then seeding into the tools directory uh, we'll be downloading some packages from this github repository where hyperledger project project is going on and we'll be doing unzip process so which will extract the zip files from this fabric dev server zip. We can keep these files anywhere we want. But this needs to be started so we can and deploy our business networks and communicate with them or work with them. Okay, we have installed record packages. Finally, we'll be installing the Composer Playground where we can develop our own business network from local. This Hyperledger uh, Composer package is same replica of this online version. Whatever the work we are doing in this composer online version or offline version, we should export the recent version as a backup because uh, whenever there is an update, everything will be removed in order to get update. We can't take the backup after that. So please take the backups once you create it and this is to work for using this composer playground.
Let's take some time. Let's go through it today. I think I already downloaded a version of this fabric tools in my root directory. Yeah, I have the same setup for this. So let's see the files. So I have download fabric shell script create composer profile shell script which will create a profile with uh, name HLF v1 happy ledger fabric version 1 stopping the docker starting this docker I have docker running now I have some packages which got installed as well for now I'm going to start this Composer playground locker from local. So this will start the Composer playground in a default browser using port 8080. Okay, there is another update. I'm going to remove the local storage to do this so we can go to console tab and then to local storage dot clear I hope this works no that didn't work Okay, now I clear the local storage from application tab local storage corresponding website. Now it's it is updated. Okay, let's close this developer tools now. Deploy new network. Name this network without spaces, without any caps letter. I'm going to name it. Um, this time we um, will use like a life cycle network which is quite big uh, it has 11 types of participants in types of assets 24 transaction types possible okay I selected my template and the name description is optional I'm going to deploy the so now which will take um, 5 to 10 seconds yep. uh, default LT is admin with that we can't do anything it's like manage manager will be not recorded as a participant So if you know oops concept you would have what is abstract this is parent where we are defining the common uh, attributes of in person and then inheriting this person to child here in this file we have created an abstract and concepts concepts is similar to uh, abstract but uh, these values are like um, structures so custom data types these are these are classes and these are custom data types we are going to use the this is based on CTO where we are defining reusable modules here we are going to find okay we are also doing the same thing here we are defining the base properties from business perspective we are doing the actual code here so this manufacturers extended version of business business is extended version of person no okay mm, 
will get to know about this once you go through the code so part they have participant asset and transaction and an event so event what values will be emitted once you once you call this event transaction this is the function name so while writing the code we'll be doing like function place holder this will this will call the function and this these are the parameters which will come in for the function so we can see how the function is defined okay these are all mandatory so we'll be writing some comments about this function we'll be writing what will be the input this is the type of the transaction we are where we are giving and this is the function which we'll be using function name and the description about the function and we are defining that's a per transaction using a, this at the right symbol so if I do have something like changing this this will throw error because there's no namespace as like pl slash as order so these comments are mandatory for now we'll be extracting the values from this parameters as we'll know what will be the incoming values for these functions we have defined the same in this mm, factor yep we'll be defining this what will be the input here so why our model and the business plan logics are ready ready so we'll be saying this um, access control file we'll be restricting the access to particular models based upon the participant roles so if I'm specifying a participant here like uh, manager so he can do anything or under any model but he can't modify so there's a sales manager he can view everything but he can control what uh, he can modify update anything particular particular to his department those logics can be written here operation and there's another uh, tag called condition I'll be defining the condition uh, checking if the co corresponding person belongs to that corresponding asset so we'll be granting the access to them so these are the four types of files model file script file query file and access control file so we have only one query file allowed and one permission file allowed so we have id registry here we'll be issuing entries for the participants we have we created so if we want to issue an id we can't create because we don't have any participant yet we have to issue create some participant so we can issue some id for them so we have auction house company manufacturer operator so 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 uh, participants so i'm creating a regulator participant generating random data 6344 is that so this is company id we can keep it like that uh, this is company this company id is the unique key here uh, i'm creating this user now 6344 is a regulator so i'm going to id registry issue i'm going to issue an um, identity to that user so we are getting such 
so for this particular participant we'll be using this id to login so if i create this login I'm now in regulator mode. You want to test now? So, I'll check water. Okay, we have we haven't restricted any access, so we'll be able to do anything. So basically, what this restriction will be doing now? Uh, if you want to restrict company view for this regulator, I can do this using a define access control file and create another role. So we have a live validation of the code we are writing here. description once we write everything valid this error message will go off so for now I'm not doing anything going to logic 010 so these operations can be delete update add and this action is to allow or uh, deny the particular operation we have we are defined if this all these conditions are met we can allow or deny the access to the particular asset so we have our business network ready so to a the submit transaction and to do submit transaction see yeah this has been changed place order and we have received corresponding input parameters where we define in this model file we can also define some of the properties to be optional in case we don't want their values to be set initially so this win number will be assigned once the car is ready for now it's not necessary so we are leaving it as an optional this is actually just network which where value will not be saved permanently i'm going to export this business network file now and stop going to stop this um, playground Okay, we need to deploy that so business network which I have just now deployed. I'm going to start that fabric network now. So in case you are starting this for first time, it will download the record the containers and images. And then update the Docker. Else, if you already have everything set up, everything is marked as latest, uh, it will just start the con container and then the process will stop. This console process will stop and the dark container will be running. So now I have updated my Docker, so it's now re downloading everything. Okay, I'm going to open another console. So this will get downloaded into downloads directly. The file which you created now.
so this is the command which will be using to deploy the business work so we can see what is the central id to be used which is mandatory connection profile name where the file where the PR information, order information, and the certificate authority information so like uh, the IP and the port number of the PS and orderers will be specified in this profile file, which will be located under your home directory with the folder dot connection profiles, so composer profiles. You can see it now. So we, we can see the sample of the of the file composer how the composer profile will look like here. Fabric tools dot slash create composer profile. So this is the actual file contents and the location of the file. Present in our home direct and home directory composer connection profiles. So, in the production scenario, we'll be replacing this local host with the corresponding AWS or uh, corresponding IP of the server. So, where where we can keep our Happy Ledger server up and running, and clients, multiple clients can connect to that uh, particular server using this. For profiles. This is our organization ID. This every file property can be changed. This is the channel. Uh, ch channel is the place where we'll be uh, deploying our chain codes. So, uh, a channel. There can be multiple channels and multiple. And multiple peers can be joined into particular channel uh, the communication between these channels cannot be uh, viewed by other peers which are not in the channel so A and B can be in one channel A and C can be on channel uh, the transaction which A and B are making cannot be viewed by C and there can be different channels saying A B C where they can see all the transaction made by each one of them so from business perspective uh, if a if a is doing some um, private dealing with b they can uh, restrict c from seeing that deal using uh, creating separate channel for them so this is an organization membership id That's Membership services uh, ID something like that. So this will be unique for each organization. So so this uh, process of approving things goes like this. So there will be channel. PS will be joining into the channel, and then we'll be uh, deploying a chain code with some. Uh, some kind of rules saying uh, a member from organization one and a member from organization two can approve this particular transaction so if both are online they can approve this uh, transaction so it will get automatically approved if they are online uh, so this has to be unique and will be using this values while deploying the chain code or this business network okay our process is done um, okay I have used persistent storage configuration so if the door uh, if there is an already already in genesis block or this data is there uh, it can be recreated
in this case I have to use different, different directive while starting the server this, this thing we will discuss later uh, for now I have business business network deployed and ready to use name music network so this this process of deploying a business network is shown here tutorials developed there We have our network file readily available for us. This this is the basic file we we have already created. So we can use the command. Compose network deploy archive file name profile name which you love we want and the identity to identity you to create so this peer admin is some kind of inbuilt admin for this peer you can use any pa password there but this has to be peer admin and the password so it will take 30 seconds of talks Take a minute. Once this, this is deployed, we'll be pinging to that network. So, this is our default admin and its password. Hmm. After this, we the next step will be testing the Rust API. This is taking more than usual because this is a huge network. I think that's the reason it's taking this much time. To manage Docker images, I'm using Kitematic. There are some other software available for this for purpose. Okay, we have one orderer, one peer, 
on certificate authority on Wall Street database which means the data will be stored in this CouchDB only I don't know how to use this database little for now there is 128 kb of 120 kilobytes of data database is there how to run PostDB. This chain code will be deployed in this PR. So we have this end of course coming out. There is some kind of error. I think I messed up some steps. We'll see that on the next tutorial. Stay tuned.